Well, tonight we are digging deeper into allegations of a widespread conspiracy and cover-up that stretches from the Bay Area all the way north to Mendocino. And it's law enforcement officers accused of being the masterminds behind it all, stealing guns, cash and drugs during traffic stops and raids on people's property. Senior investigative reporter Bigad Shaban is back on this story for us tonight. It is feeding time at this farm in Ukiah. We have 14 Fish. goats, dogs, cats, pigs. Farmers Chris Gerr and Anne Marie Borges tell us next to their barn full of animals, there was supposed to be a field full of marijuana. So this is the cannabis garden area. But now there's no pot, just worthless weeds when there should be weed. Our business plan was for 10 greenhouses. The former high school sweethearts bought the property five years ago with dreams of joining the first wave of legal cannabis growers in Mendocino County. The right, property the was perfect for what right. we wanted to do. We wanted to make sure we were doing everything right. <laughs> 15 miles away, Will Knight had a similar vision. That's been my goal all along, is to be able to do this legally. He's been growing pot for more than two decades. I really did not like dealing with the way that black market operated. When California legalized weed in 2016, Mendocino County created a certification process for getting farmers into legal growing. Diane Curry ran it. At the time, she was the county's agriculture commissioner. We tried to have a very thoughtful program. Curry says Borges, Gurr, and Knight were given provisional permits to start growing. They were doing everything they needed to do to become compliant. But in June of 2017, Borges and Gurr say a neighbor reported them to the California Department of Fish and Wildlife, claiming the well on their marijuana farm was illegally pulling water from a creek. Two months later, they were raided by state and local law enforcement officers. They said that they had a search warrant. They had handguns that were drawn, and I thought, wow, it's kind of embarrassing that they're lost. They're in a legal garden. The couple recorded this video. They say shows officers driving off with truckloads of their marijuana plants. Without ever offering evidence, there was a problem with their well. It's completely destroyed, gone. A study the farmers paid for later found the well's water likely was not coming from the creek. And the couple has never been charged with a crime relating to that raid. I never saw Fish and Wildlife till the day of the raid. Will Knight also thought it was a mistake when officers raided his marijuana farm. There were camouflaged guys coming over the gate. Knight was accused of taking water from a spring on his property and hit with felony charges three years later. He pleaded not guilty and continues to fight the case in court. The county's former ag commissioner says that raid should have never happened, and neither should the one at Borges and Gurr's farm. If you called the tip line for Fish and Wildlife and complained about cannabis, their policy was to eradicate. No questions asked. They didn't care that you were working with the county. When police seize marijuana, the policy in Mendocino County is to bury what's not kept for evidence. But the growers say they've seen no records that actually happened. They're now accusing a group of law enforcement officials of conspiring to steal it. The growers tell us Fish and Wildlife Lieutenant Steve White was in charge and present at both properties during the raids. And say Mendocino County Sheriff Sergeant Bruce Smith was also there. Smith ran the county's marijuana enforcement team at the time. The three growers have filed a new federal lawsuit alleging a criminal enterprise involving Rohnert Park Police, California Fish and Wildlife, Mendocino County Sheriff's Office, and the Mendocino County District Attorney. They're accused of committing or concealing hundreds of acts of extortion, theft, and robbery of marijuana, guns, and cash. And according to the lawsuit, farmers weren't the only targets. Law enforcement officers are also accused of stealing from drivers during traffic stops, essentially highway robbery. Earlier this month, we told you about two Rohnert Park police officers who have already been indicted, accused of extorting cash and weed from drivers. None of the agencies named in the lawsuit would comment, except Rohnert Park Police, saying it does not tolerate corrupt and unethical practices and says the city recently hired an independent police auditor to review complaints from the public. Attorneys for White and Smith also declined to comment, but have filed motions to dismiss the lawsuit, saying 
Plaintiffs try to stretch the facts of two ordinary warrant searches so as to somehow be part of a grand conspiracy. I can't give you an answer on that. Earlier this year, Sergeant Smith and Lieutenant White gave videotaped depositions as part of a separate lawsuit filed by Borges and Gurr, alleging Fish and Wildlife raided them on bogus water diversion claims. What happened to the marijuana at the Borges farm? Part of it was um, destroyed using a wood chipper and other was uh, removed from the property and put in the back of um, a dump truck. In Smith's deposition, he said the sheriff's office has safeguards against theft. We would do self audits. We would photograph, oftentimes videotape the scenes. But do you have video of the plants being destroyed? No. Today, the growers are still trying to rebuild after losing so much of their livelihoods in those raids. After I was following all the rules, they destroyed us financially. These guys are no joke. They'll come and get you. <laughs> yeah, the reality has set in that all of our hard work, all the money that we invested um, was gone. I mean, it was just destroyed. Everything was destroyed. There are a lot of allegations and agencies tangled together in this story. So on our website, we have laid it all out for you to make it easier to see who is accused of doing what. There, you can also watch the first part of our investigation that we aired earlier this month and hear directly from former cop Zeke Flatten. Now, in the same lawsuit, he says he was robbed by two law enforcement officials posing as federal agents who allegedly stole his marijuana. We have all of that for you at NBCBayArea.com slash investigations. With the Investigative Unit, I'm Begat Chaban. And if you have a story for Begat or anyone in our Investigative Unit, give us a call, 888-996-TIPS, or visit our website, NBCBayArea.com slash investigations.